Hi, welcome back to my workshop. This video, well this isn't, this video is all about seaweed. But first, this little guy. For my last video, now I know I was overly confident that this was going to work, and it kind of has, but it hasn't. There are problems with it that this design, it doesn't work. So, I was really hoping I could post a video this week saying, yes, it works, but sadly not. I will revisit this. I'm still thinking about it. I'm probably thinking about it right now. I will revisit this in, in, in a couple of videos. But anyway, this video, seaweed. No, 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 no. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's not true at all. I have got it working. Here it is. Okay, this is actually a new design. So, I was only partly lying. <laughs> this work actually works really well, but I'll explain that in another video. This video, seaweed, let's get to it. I've been trying to make seaweed for a while now. I looked initially at the stuff you can buy in pond shops, aquarium shops, and it all just is rubbish. It's just, it looks like cheap plastic. I've gone through shock horror, many iterations trying to figure out how to make decent seaweed. Some a lot more complicated than it ended up needing to be. I tried moulding seaweed, I've tried milling it on this machine and then casting that in rubbers, in silicons. I tried giving it texture. I've done many, many things. None seemed to work as well as a quite simple approach which I ended up using. Colour is one of the most important aspects about making something like this. To me, with this especially, it's what sells it, what makes it real. Let's take Doctor Strange as an example, the Marvel character. Loads of people have made Doctor Strange costumes. Great character, I can see why. The way they go about it is they research the film, research what fabrics they used and make their costumes from those fabrics. That, whilst that's great, to me, there's a big difference between the behind the scenes Doctor Strange and the one you see on film. This one is much more, it's more muted, it's more desaturated. The choices the filmmakers went with, perception versus reality. And that's something that I'm very aware of with Davy Jones as a character. If you look at Davy Jones on film, he looks like this. What I want to make though is this. I've loved this image ever since I, I saw it all those years ago. To me, it's what I think people want to see. It's what I want to see rather than the actual character, if that makes any sense. I, I want to see that walking around. Um, and it's colour plays a big part in it and if you look at the seaweed um, when you see Davy in broad daylight in the films it's really bold it is very vibrant in colour but if I put that seaweed on Davy Jones's hat it would look out of place I feel it needs that toned down uh, muted look to be more believable than what is actually on film. I know what I mean, so let's just go with it. Anyway, here's my seaweed. I think they are simple but effective. Um, I'm especially pleased with the colours. So obviously they won't be in one big group as they are here on the final hat. They'll be, you know, more, sp more spread out and I'll probably paint them into their location to really sit them on the on the hat um, but yeah I, I'm really pleased with them they they do I think make you think of old wet seaweed they got a good shine to them which I do like the Platzil 10 for let's make some seaweed here are my colors that I made a while ago I'm very happy with these and it's what I've been using I find it very difficult to recreate colors exactly that I'm happy with again um, so let's see how it goes. So I've made some, made, no I haven't. I've dished out some brown and some orange. Orange was made from yellow and red, obviously. 
I've also made some grey, black and white. I'm using which camera? Mold Life Silicon Pigments. Very good. What I need to do first is mix the orange and the brown. There we go. Get that lovely colour. Then just add the grey. Mix it together. And yeah, there we go. Very nice. That is the brown that I've been using in small quantities in my seaweed to great effect. Sorry, camera's there. There. Um, yeah, great. That was actually quite easy. These videos are actually a really good memory tool for me. Give it four months when I've been making another part of Davy Jones. I just have to re-watch my own video to remind myself how to make seaweed, which is great. Anyway, here we go. So, Platsil 10, as always, same part, yeah, same weight, A and B. Don't need much for this experiment. Only about eight grams each. There we go. Let's bring in our colours. Do the brown, only a very small amount. Mix well. Let's put that to one side. We don't need our weighing scales anymore. So I cast my silicon seaweed on just plastic bags like this over a white piece of paper. The white piece of paper is just so you can see what you're doing. Nothing more. So... Dunk out your silicon. Then using your mixing stick, let's get a fresh one. Using your mixing stick, smear it out like this. You want it really rather thin, hence the white piece of paper. There we go, that looks nice. Don't worry too much about an even thickness because the unevenness actually is what makes it more believable. This took me a while to learn, um, many tests, but if you get some more silicon and just blob it in places like this, try and be random, if, you know, as, as random as you can. There we go. When, as that's flattening itself out, as it's curing, it gives the piece of seaweed a much more interesting appearance. So here's one I made earlier. If I put it on a white piece of paper and hold it up to camera, you can see it better. The different thicknesses, the blobs, the lines, it all adds to give it a much more organic, natural quality that I think looks really good. And then, yeah, let it cure. It's the following day, it's cured, let's have a look. Here we go, here it is on the piece of paper. Piece of paper, piece of plastic. Peel it off. And what it will naturally do is try and kind of cluster itself like that. Let's put it on the hat. Here's the seaweed on the hat, looking good. What I've done with this piece and this piece, if you get, if you mix a bit of a bit more silicon, get a clamp and pinch them like that, or maybe a bit more like that. You know, try and don't do the same thing on all of them, and it allows the silicon to hang in much more seaweed-like shapes and forms. Yeah, I'm really happy. That's how I make my seaweed. I think it's pretty convincing. <laughs> I'm amazed that worked.